Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. Today, we are out on the middle Chesapeake with the guys from Angler Sports Center. They brought out a whole slew of new gear for us to check out. And uh, right now, we're chasing little patches of birds. It's not those big giant flocks that everyone gets super excited about. These are just little patches that are popping up and going back down again. And these can be a little more frustrating to fish because often by the time you get where you're going, when you see the birds working, they disappear. Now, what we're doing today is we're fishing jig heads between an ounce and a half an ounce. I got a GI jig on here right now. And rather than trying to keep the lure up top when the fish are breaking water, I'm recognizing the fact that by the time I get there, they're going to be down low. And instead, I'm bouncing this along the bottom, a short snap right on the bottom. Now, the actual body of this lure, this is actually a custom BKD that's only available to anglers. What, what's it called again, Mike? That is the pepper shaker. The pepper shaker. So uh, this, is, this has been proving pretty effective. It's got a nice little chartreuse and white mix going on there. And uh, see if we can get some more fish. Here's what I'm looking for on the meter, these arches. You see lots of bait balls like that. There's another one. That's good to see. I like to see the bait, but what I really want to see is those arches. When I see that, I know I'm looking at big fish, and that's when I'm going to shift into neutral, cast that jig out, let it sink all the way to the bottom, and start snapping it. Hey everybody, it's Mike with Anglers here, and we are out jigging with Lenny Rudow and Fish Talk. So the gear we're using today are a bunch of rods, anywhere from 6.6 to 7.2, all really fast action. So we have some Shimano not, um, x ages out here, and we also have um, the St. Croix Bass X, which is one of our most popular jigging rods on the bay. Everybody wants a very fast action tip for snap jigging. Um, the Noskis as well, which we're using on all these rods, are great reels for the price point. Um, when you're out here jigging and they're going to hold up to any fish 20, 30, 40 pounds straight bass. So the line we're using today is 15 to 20 pound Power Pro. Plenty, plenty strong enough for any fish out here on the bay and light enough and thin enough that you're going to be able to get deep quickly with your jig. The actual leader we have here is going to be um, generally be a 20 pound fluorocarbon and we have a GI jig with a Z-Man skirt and a BKD plastic on it. The GI jigs are kind of known around the bay as one of the more popular jigs. People love the large eyes. They seem to catch more. Uh, dressing them with any kind of skirt gives a nice color contrast and a little more action to the lure and the BKDs which is just a nice six inch jerk plastic comes in tons of different Great colors is always a, a good way to go. So this is kind of your go-to signature bay jigging combo here. What do we got here? Nice. Well, folks, as you can see, the birds are pretty much scattered out. We've been following the fish a little bit on the meter, had a little success with that. Now I'm not seeing fish, the birds are gone. So let me leave you with this last little tip. When you're following these flocks of birds that are moving around a lot, you don't see fish on the meter, the birds disperse. The thing to do is just to crank it up and move on to greener pastures. Because the bottom line is, you're not likely to have a whole lot of success if you just float around out in the middle of nowhere when there's not a whole lot of action going on. So, onward and forward. Kiss and goodbye. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>